Hi, welcome to the channel or welcome back. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker. I've tested thousands of products. Also, you have a better idea of what to buy and what not to buy. And today I'm sharing the six makeup tools that I use almost every day. Keyword here is every day. I am very much so an everyday, easy does it kind of a makeup person. Probably nobody could pay to get on this list. Ritz Picks cannot be a paid placement for brands. We're getting my honest review as always. Let's kick it off with the first brush, which is from Sigma. This is the F15 Duo Fiber Powder Blush Brush. This was one of the best mistakes I've ever made. I have way too many brushes over here and I reached for this one by mistake. Started using it with a cream bronzer that I reviewed this week actually, the Rose Ink, and it applied it so well. And I did not expect that to be the case because I looked at the bristles and thought, there's no way this is gonna work, it's gonna be streaky. No, couldn't be further from the case. The key thing here is that it makes color products look really natural and it does so very effortlessly with the lightest touch I can build with this brush. Next, if you're a subscriber, thank you so much. You've probably heard me mention, this is also from Sigma and it is the Kabuki F89 brush. I love this brush, it's so good. It's more densely packed. And I love, love using this with lighter weight formulas, whether that's a very lightweight foundation, a tinted moisturizer, a watery foundation. It just seems to work really well with the lightweight formulas. And by works well, what I mean is I usually put it on my hand first and then I'll dip this brush into it and then I will buff it in and it buffs into the skin really nicely. I don't see streaks or if I do see streaks, I just keep buffing it in and it kind of goes away. It's a very easy one and done low maintenance, don't want to spend a lot of time on it, but need it to look good kind of brush. The third is from Fit Glow. It is their Conceal and Correct brush. I do use this really also every day. There are two sides to this one and I use both sides. Bottom line here is that this makes applying concealer for me really fast. I use the wider brush to do larger sweeping motions in certain areas and then I'll press in the product with my finger and then I use the smaller side for touch-ups mainly or to clean up lines like say I have a winged eyeliner or I use it quite a bit underneath the brow to emphasize the arch and it just works. It's not even a hard angle. It just kind of does what it needs to do because it's more densely packed, but it's not super dense and it's very soft and easy to work with. If you're finding this video helpful, please take two seconds and hit that like button. It's a small thing that makes a huge difference over here, so thank you for that. And while you're at it, what are your top makeup tools right now? I would love to know and I think it would really help the community, so share what your favorites are in the comments below. Three more I'm gonna run through pretty quickly. Another one from Fit Glow, this is the Teddy Double Cheek Brush. This is one that I got and then at first I didn't like, but now I kind of love it. I would say I use the fluffier, bigger side a bit more than the smaller brush. The fluffier side works really well with creamier, richer formulas and foundations like for instance, the RMS, their new liquid foundation. I find that it just quickly gets that all across the face. And if I need it to look like it's soaking in a little bit more, then I just sort of lightly press that bigger brush on top. If I just need touch-ups with that kind of a foundation, say I have a little bit of redness here, I don't want all over face foundation because I rarely do that, then the smaller brush comes into play and it does exactly what the bigger brush does, but of course, as you'd imagine, in a smaller area. The next is an eyeshadow brush. This is from MOTD Cosmetics. It's a really well-priced brush at 12 bucks. The funny thing is I left behind all of my brushes when I went on a recent trip to see family. I don't know why. As a result, found myself applying eyeshadow like this, just using my fingers, which is fine. I didn't realize how much I loved this brush until I didn't have the brush. This is a little bit fluffier and wider for an eyeshadow. This isn't really a strong angled brush. Also allows for some precision, just not fine lines, of course, as you can see by the brush. I love using this with liquid shadows specifically. I dab this really lightly onto the liquid and then I just kind of windshield wipe onto my eye. It kind of gets into corners, but also covers large surface area. For liquid shadow, like I mentioned, it's a really nice way to give myself more control when applying the product so it doesn't get gloopy or globby or any G word, I guess, at this point. So it gives it more of an even application. And the final product is from Eco Tools. It's a biodegradable makeup sponge. 
sponge. They're really inexpensive, they're really easy to use, and they hold up for quite a long time, and they have some angles so you can get into corners. I really tend to use this when I want absolute flawless makeup. I'm gonna be doing close-ups or something like that. Sometimes I will use a sponge if I want really strong coverage. The thicker, richer formulas tend to show up a bit more opaque when I use a sponge. So that could be a good thing for you. I don't really like that though. I just, I like it to look a little bit more everyday and natural, but this one works so well specifically with the 100% pure water foundation. Anything that has that lightweight consistency, it's moisture, but it's like weight moisture. It's not like a rich cream. The sponge does really well with that over moisturized skin. I've talked a lot about the foundations, by the way, that I use these tools with. So if you want to check out what my current favorites are there, then you can check out this video, a roundup of my current favorites. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.